When I was four, we drove to Nashville, Grand Ole Opry bound, and stopped the night at a broken down motel in Tennessee. Shag walls, mossy carpet, dank concrete. And I remember standing in the doorway as evening fell, a bus full of believers rattling their way to the pool for a makeshift baptism. The amens and hear us, lords, ricocheting through the courtyard as underwater lights glowed the pool algae green. They would come to him, the big preacher man, and he'd lay a palm across their foreheads, brace them at the small of their backs. They'd release themselves to him, teeth sucking in the air before falling back into salvation held under unstruggling and splashing up anew, all gasping grace and sanctify glory, hallelujah, till my mother shut the door and made me watch TV. My parents don't recall it, but that's the way memory works in the South. The truth is always lying in some field somewhere between the bones of the fallen and the weapons they reach for. So, um, I'm from the South. The book is about growing up in the South. Um, a lot of different aspects of that. Um, one of the things that it addresses is religion, right? And how there's, there are a lot of different types of churches in the South. Um, there are the brick and mortar churches, and then there are the churches that only seem to exist, like spray painted on the sides of buses and vans, <laughs> like rolling down the highway, right? So. You need to be driving along and you'll see like the Mount Tabernacle Church of the Holy Apostolic Redeemers of Latter-day Galileans or something. And they're going to six flags and they're like, you know. So I started getting really intrigued and interested in different religions. I started going to different churches, like snake handling and things like that. So this is like it's kind of dresses. Down south, all it takes to be a church are some stencils and a van. And my childhood was full of them. The Episcopal litanies of Sunday school, exercises, and genuflection. The low country southern Baptist pit of hellfire and damnation hemming us inside the tent. While just outside, flies hover buzzed above platter chicken, slaw, and beans. Prophets profiteering in spoken tongues as the charismatic wailed and thrashed and shook their babel babel down. In dirt-floored shacks, fevered believers dance themselves into a frenzy, coiling snakes like copper bracelets dangling from their wrists, spit-cracked lips and boot-heel claw, the baseline itself almost enough to give you back your faith. Grape juice and Dixie cups, cardboard posts, backwashed wine, this grit we've been told to be still and learn was never any closer to God. Then when I stood at the back of that whitewashed clapboard A and me, I could only ever visit. The preacher pacing the worn strip of rug, pleading, help us, Lord, teach us how to love. Sending testified ripples that washed over heads, nodding bobs on the waves of his words. The choir rocking, feet stomping, peace only to be found in the swing skirt of shimmy and the big belly voices booming it wholly in the gospel of move and you shall know. Sway. One, two, three, four.